Storm Center 7 forecast with meteorologist Robert Gotro III. I was outside a little earlier today. I think we can all agree it's pretty cold. Yes. But well, it's going to get colder. Nothing compared to where you found oh, yeah. New Hampshire of all places. So, yeah, that's of all places. You would think the coldest places might be Alaska or even the Dakotas, Montana. Well, Mount Washington, New Hampshire is known for erratic weather. In fact, it's known for the world's fastest wind speed ever observed. Hmm. It was the record from 1934 to 96, the fastest ever and I think it was broken by a tornadic wind speed, but it yeah. still holds the fastest wind speed that's not tornadic, not hurricane. Story is, it's going to be windy there, it's going to be cold there, and so it's going to feel exceptionally cold. So we're in Ohio, right? I'm going to show you where New Hampshire is on the map. You can see Ohio. We're looking at a few flurries up toward the northeast, or northwest, well, northeast too. And we might get a few of those. But over here in New Hampshire, up in New England, there it is right here. That's Vermont. Here's New Hampshire. Right up here in kind of north central New Hampshire is Mount Washington. There's an observatory there. You might be familiar with that. Well, the temperature tomorrow, tomorrow's low temperature, is expected to be negative 42. Now, granted, this is on a mountain, so, okay, that makes a little sense. Tomorrow's wind is going to be... 90 miles per hour. Now, you know when it's cold and you know when it's windy, you get the feels like temperature, right? I like to explain it like you're stepping out of a shower. The water in your skin evaporates and makes you feel cold, even though your thermostat might be higher. Well, with cold temperatures of negative 42, 90 miles per hour, just guess what it's going to feel like. Y'all have a guess? I, I don't want to... I already saw the numbers. Okay, okay. well, no, no, I'm thanks not, for you being know. honest. Negative 100 <laughs> degrees in Mount Washington, New Hampshire. That's what it's going to feel like tomorrow. So it could be worse. Downtown Springfield right now, it's not that cold. In, in, in Dayton, it's 33 degrees with winds out of the northwest, just a measly 18 miles per hour. But that's making it feel like the teens already. And that cold front it has pushed across the region. So temperatures are going to drop tonight. Like I mentioned, a few flurries, they might pass through a few stray flurries overnight. Most of you won't see anything. The next 24 hours, those temperatures drop quite a bit. Look at tomorrow's high temperatures, barely getting into the 20s. So it definitely will be a cold day. The future cast shows some cloud cover and again, Again, just a few flurries, perhaps. Real some, some stray flurries. Again, not for everybody. And then hopefully we'll see a little bit of sunshine poking through. But the cold weather doesn't last too long. Even though Saturday morning will start off in the low teens, not to mention with the wind, it'll likely feel near zero degrees or below zero tonight and tomorrow night. So keep that in mind. But we're back in the 50s next week. Might come with a little bit of rain, but it's going to feel a lot better. Now that's my forecast. Let's hand it on over to Puxatawney Phil and see what he thinks. Well, of course, you know, we have to check in with the groundhog six minutes.